you know, there's this popular idea that the that that the top chimp is a tyrannical patriarch and that he rules by force and that that's perhaps even more true of chimpanzees than of human males, let's say. But it isn't true. The top male has to be very affiliative. He has to attend to the members of the troop and he has to reciprocate constantly. So he does a lot of grooming and a lot of conflict negotiation. If he's a tyrant, and I'm sure this is familiar to you in a military context, if he's a tyrant, well, what happens is a couple of subordinates band together and take him out. And right. so DeWall demonstrated very clearly that even among chimps who are much more physically aggressive than we are, stable leadership is a consequence of a kind of enlightened reciprocity.